Hello, welcome to Polkot Campus TV. Today we are going to learn something related to the Maths textbook 6B, Chapter 13, Bar Charts 2. After watching this episode, you should be able to construct bar charts using a 1 to 1000 and a 1 to 10,000 representation. Please get ready your textbook and workbook. First, let's have a look for this table. When constructing bar charts of large frequency counts, like these four digit numbers, we may round off the numbers to the nearest hundred thirds. Then we can construct the bar chart easier with the rounded OR data. For your reference, round off the numbers to the nearest 10. Read these numbers on the left. Recognize for the units place with 1, 2, 3, or 4. Round down. The tens place remains unchanged. For these numbers with units place 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, round up, carry 1 to the tens place. Apply the skills to round off the given four digit numbers. Back to our task. Follow the instruction. Round off the numbers to the nearest hundred. We should focus on the tens place this time. Four, seven, round up. So carry one to the hundreds place. The rounded off data is 4,700. Four, one, round down. Keep two in the hundreds place. So get 3,200. Now your turn to round off these two numbers. Can you get this answer? According to the size of data, choose an appropriate scale for the exit representing the frequency counts. Like this bar chart, the vertical exit represents the number of people with 1 to 1,000 representation. Each large unit stands for 1,000 people. Each small unit stands for 200 people. Read the bar of youth hostel. It shows 4,700 people. The bar chart should contain four large units for 4,000 people and three and a half small unit for 700 people. Now, your turn to draw the remaining two bars. This bar chart is complete. Check your answers. Read all the parts again. Make sure there are a title, the vertical exit, the horizontal exit, and the scale. Here is an other bar chart. Follow the instruction. Round off the numbers to the nearest thousand. We should focus on the hundreds place this time. For three, round down, keep two in the thousands place. So get the rounded off data, 72,000. Now, your turn to these three numbers. Check your answers. 
According to the side of data, construct the bar chart with 1 to 10,000 representation. Each large unit stands for 10,000 people. Each small unit stands for 2,000 people. For example, read the bar of the plane, 72,000 people. The bar should include seven large units for 70,000 people and one small unit for 2,000 people. Now, your turn to draw the remaining three bars. This bar chart is complete. Check your answers, especially the bar of train. 95,000 people. The bar should include nine large units and 2.5 small units for 5,000 people. Please double check. You should be able to construct bar chart. Read this example carefully and answer all the questions. First, fill in the blanks. Do you get all these correct answers? Good job. Next, read the direction of the bars from zero, from left to right. So this is our horizontal bar chart. Read the keywords most people and find the suitable data. Do you get the answers? Very good. Read the keywords list people and find the suitable data. How about this question? Do you also get all the correct answers? For further extension, try to do your workbook page 10 and 11. This is the end of this Campus TV. Thanks for your watching. Bye bye.